more explosions. explosions. <laughs> Pretty special guest radio head. <laughs> what the hell are you so happy about, fat ass? I am the first one of us to reach manhood after all. I just got my first pubes. Pubic hair, he's saying you got his first pubic hair. Oh. One big pubic hair. Here, check him out. We don't want to see them, Cartman. There, see? How do you like them apples? I got them from Scott Tennerman. Scott Tennerman, the ninth grader? Ten bucks. <laughs> Cartman, you are so goddamn stupid, it's unbelievable. You don't buy pubes, you grow them yourself. But then why would Scott Tennerman sell me his pubes for ten dollars? You're dumb enough to buy them. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. <laughs> and the stupid asshole buys them. <laughs> so I've come to return these pubes that I purchased. I don't take returns. That you were full of shit, or I can go tell my mom on you. <laughs> you were stupid enough to pay for my pubes? Give me my ten dollars, Scott. Hey, I said no. Hello, sir. My name is Chris <laughs> Christopher, and I'm with the IRS. You glued my pubes onto your face. I suggest that you... All right, all right. Cool. How much did I charge? You got changed for a 20? It's gonna I scam. I $6.12. Just give me the $6, give me the 12 cents, and I'll give you the pubes. Sweet. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Just let it go, dude. He's smarter than you. He just charmed me, that's all. One, please. One, please. <laughs> That'll be six dollars. How much is that in pubes? <laughs> we don't take pubes. I thought Cartman is smart. End of story. Racist. Racist. Courtney Love is in South Park spreading her legs and showing mm. her poon energy. I'll watch your house for you. I'll buy the pubes back. Here, I I'll even throw in an extra five. Why do you want them back so much? The pube pair in Fort Collins. They're paying five bucks a hair for pubes. That's like a million dollars. I'm going to Fort Collins myself. <laughs> no. Haha, <laughs> sure you are, Scott. I think that was the, the last shot. Cartman <laughs> rejected. <laughs> The pube mm. fair? No such thing, you little smart ass. Oh, I think this is for you. 106 masks, Scott. Mm. You really went? You win. I give up. Wow, you're not as stupid as I thought. Too bad about my grandma, dude. Don't just say unless I can come up with 16 yeah. dollars for operation. I didn't realize that. I'll get your money. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Here you go. I want you to beg for it. Huh? Why? Do you want your grandma to live or not? Mm. Please, give me my money. Down on your knees. I beg you to give me back my money. I'm a little piggy. What? I'm a little piggy. Here's my snout. Oink, oink, oink. Dance and oink for me. I'm a little piggy. Oink, oink, oink. Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care that much about 16 measly dollars. Watch. <laughs> Why? Now you can't bug me for your dumb money. <laughs> I thank you for coming to get rid of Scott Tetterman once and for all. <laughs> Scott Tetterman. Yeah. yeah. I sold Carmen his pubes for $10. $16.12. Calculating men and I will have revenge. You guys see that movie Hannibal? Pigs to eat his enemy alive? If we find a pony, bite off Scott Tetterman's wiener. Scott Tetterman will forever be known as the kid who had his wiener bitten off by a pony. What's in it for us? Why should we care? Let's just let Scott Tetterman walk away with my $16.12. Why stand up for yourself when you can just walk out of here right now? When you're old and have children of your own, come back and fight this one day. Where you could have made a difference. But you'll never take my goddamn 16 dollars and 12 cents! Tommy! Christ. Even blotters. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Penny. Bite the wiener. Come on, good pony. Now bite it off. Oh, no, pony. Are you training that pony to please you? <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell are you training Denkin's pony to bite off someone's penis? When you still doing it. I hate him. Just the uh, like sausage. Not like that, Penny. <laughs> Okay, now I see it. Gotta think like a hunter. Find someone's weakness. Exploit that weakness. Ah, Radiohead. Freckles and God damn it, I hate it, I hate it! Must learn all you can about your kill. Radiohead posters. You know that band. Am I winning? What am I <laughs> doing here? Radiohead fan, huh? That involves them. Scott's mom's about to take off her bra. Gimme though. <laughs> Mrs. Tenement's letting the twins out. God, they're even bigger than I ever imagined. Wow, those are great. Hey, <laughs> He's looking. Are you wow. jacking it? Hey, what the hell are you doing out there? Six, stop jacking it. I can't. Don't think I don't see you. <laughs> 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 the band uh, Radiohead at all? They're doing a big interview on MTV tonight on a big screen downtown. Cool. Uh, thanks for telling me. Okay, well, it looks like everyone is here. Welcome back to MTV. I'd just like to say that I really hate this <laughs> Now he would use AI. I hate Scott Tenement too. Did you hear that, Scott? We just hate that Scott Tenement kid so much that we don't want to. He's not okay. here. Scott? Scott must have ran home so embarrassed. I just dubbed their voices over. <laughs> the amazing pew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 
Kenny's gonna die. Kill. <laughs> you like how he pronounced it? Something with a pony biting off yeah, his pee-pee. Thanks for coming. And if you'll help me, I'll give each of you two dollars. <laughs> it's the brilliant combination of my last two plans. What if we got Radiohead to come here to South Park? See him get his wiener bitten off by a pony. <laughs> what? Don't you see? Then Scott would cry. Then Radiohead will think Scott Tenement is totally not true. <laughs> you guys go get Radiohead to play here. Ready? Right. <laughs> uh, he yeah, for, yeah, for, yeah, for a two box. Yeah, easy as part. You guys just watch. Yes. Uh, we have work oh. to do. Dear Radiohead, my name is Eric Hartman because of a kid I know named Scott Tenement. He has cancer in his ass. <laughs> to visit him before he dies alone next Tuesday around. Cartman knows how to manipulate. This poor kid has cancer in his ass. Eric Cartman, the fourth grader, is going to try to trick you somehow. Why are you telling me? Because we hate him. Oh. I was just stopping by to invite you to my chili con carnival. Ooh, a chili carnival, huh? There's even going to be a big surprise, so you won't want to miss it. One free pony ride. <laughs> what more could I want? A little penis biting behind? What? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> How could I turn it down? Bye, Scott. Oh, you are good, Eric. He told me that there's a starving Damn, she pony actually has at Vincent's ranch that's been abandoned. Mm -hmm. Hot us. Your mom and I can go get the pony and have it taken to an animal shelter. I feel so much better now. I'm so proud of you. Did you bring the goods? There's pubes from just about every kid in town in here. <laughs> oh, dude. We'll see how he likes it when I tell him he just ate the pubes oh of every kid in town. Oh, hello, guys. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done, Cartman. I suggest you stay to see the fireworks. What's so funny? Oh, nothing. It's just cool how you're going to get Scott Tennerman back. Hello, Eric. Chili to enter into the contest. What contest? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> Scott Tennerman. Thanks so much for coming. You've got to see the pony. Want to taste my chili first? Guys coming, and I want you to be near the pony when they arrive. I can't even think about this chili. Let's go over to the judging table, and we'll try the chili first. I guess we should taste each other's chili, huh? Here's mine. But I think mine is better. Try it. Hey, this is great. This is really good, Scott. I have something to tell you. You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? <laughs> what? I'm afraid this isn't your chili, Scott. It's delicious, Chef. My friend Stan and Kyle would betray me and warn you, tell you that I had trained Dankin's pony to bite off your wiener. Dankin's is a crazy redneck who shoots trespassers on <laughs> sight. That violent pony killers were in the area. Likely send your parents. Then <laughs> shot and killed both your parents. <laughs> oh. I was protecting myself. My oh my mom God. and dad are dead? <laughs> And of course, to steal the bodies. Oh my After god. After a night with the hacksaw, feed you your chili. <laughs> Do you like it? Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman chili. <laughs> oh my god. It turned off. It's really like. Oh, oh my god. god. What? Oh my god. I made you eat your parents. <gasps> my mom and dad are dead. Uh, excuse me. Radiohead. What a little crybaby. <laughs> you know, everyone has problems. <laughs> This kid is totally not cool. Yeah, that's the most uncool kid I've ever met. <gasps> oh my god! Wait! Evil. Oh, let me taste your tears, Scott. I think it might be best for us to never piss Cartman off again. Oh, yeah. the tears of the oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fuck! He was so stupid all along, and in the end, he just like made this super crazy evil villain plan like what the hell hannibal right yeah yeah sure. i actually know that this episode is like one of the most rated episodes in the history of south park <sighs> yeah even maybe it's top one ever oh my god now i can understand yeah why. Oh, i know i know it was shocking yeah i mean it was super fun this whole time you know and the ending was pretty yeah. quick I'm chili still... from the from the prayer oh my god oh my i still can't believe this is true episode yeah